Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. This is Hamayu. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to calculate the Nelson and Siegel parameters. I mean the yield curve parameters of level, slope and curvature. Uh, so we will be calculating the US yield curve. And for that, you need to visit the website of the US yield curve. Uh, that is Department of the Treasury, US Department of the Treasury website. That is home.treasury.gov. Here you can find the data. Uh, so if we see, I have this data of 2023. So if I um, first let me download the data. So here you can download its CSV file. Okay, this is daily treasury rate. Uh, I already have this data in my R directory. Uh, so as we are using the R programming. So let me read this data, uh, data first. So let me call it as data. So data is equal to read.csv. Uh, I have named this file as, uh, so here I have this data. If you see the data, I have date and I have uh, the maturities of the government bonds. That is for one month rates. This is for the two months rates. This is for the three months rates. Four month maturity bond rates, six months, one year, two year, three year, four year, five year, seven year, up to 30 years. So if you see the sixth year is actually missing here, uh, not only sixth year, but fourth year is also missing. So what I have to do, first of all, uh, I for this specific uh, yield curve calculation, you all need to have the yield curve package. I already have installed this package. Uh, let me show you uh, what this package is. It's actually yield curve package. This is the yield curve package and this is all the function inside this yield curve package. So we will be using the Nelson.Siegel actually for the calculation of the yield curve parameters. So uh, uh, in order to run this specific function, uh, you need to have two things for it. The first one is the data. Uh, that should be, I mean, the rates, if you see here, here we have all the rates. So you need to have this data, which have all the rates, and you need to have a vector, which in which you will tell, you know, the, the, the function that what sort of maturities, what sort of maturities do you have? So I have this data and let me, you know, uh, let me ca uh, calculate a vector, uh, which I would call MAT, MAT, right? MAT is actually a vector, C of, so I have one month bond. So remember, you have to convert all of them into years. So if I want to convert this one month into years, so I will write as one by 12, comma, I have two months, two by 12, comma, I have three months, three by 12, I have uh, four months, or so four by 12, I have six months, so six by 12, and then I have one, two, three, four. So you just write one, two, three. Uh, let me see, what do I have? I don't have four, so I have five, I have seven. Okay, I have uh, 10, I have 20, I have 30. Oh, sorry, I have. 20 and I have 30. So uh, MAWT is actually a vector that I just calculated. So this is a vector. Remember, when you use the Nelson.Siegel function, you have to remove this first row and this first column. So how can I remove? I have this data saved in this data name. So it's quite simple. Let me name it again as data. So data is equal to data. I will remove the first column, minus one, comma, minus one, the first row and the first column. You don't have the first row and the first column for the Nelson or Siegel function. So I just removed it. So now I don't have the first row and the first column. Now quite easy. Just use, first of all, name it as NS parameters. So I, I will name this as NS parameters. Nelson in Siegel parameters is equal to, I'll be using function of Nelson dot Siegel. So what do, I, what do I need for it? The rate and the maturity. The rate is actually your data. 
that I have already named it as data while removing the first row in the first column. So place data in it. Sorry. Uh, rate is equal to data, uh, comma. M the second thing that it requires is actually maturity. So maturity is equal to this vector which I have named as MAWT. So now you can calculate it. If I press enter, boom, it starts working. So let's wait for it. It will take a while to calculate. So now it has calculated the NS parameters. Let me run this NS parameter. What do we have in it? Oh my God, it has calculated the uh, beta naught, beta one, beta two and lambda. So this is actually beta naught is actually your level. This is your slope and this is your curvature. You can save it in, in an Excel in whatever you need. For example, I save it as, for example, I name it as US NS parameters is equal to write.csv 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 what do i have i have this this file named as ns parameters ns parameters okay uh, this data so i am going to name it as um, us nelson siegel parameters us ns parameters right dot c as we right let me put it in the commas okay so it has saved it has saved in the library so now if i check the directory uh, yes i have this us ns parameter dot csv so this was all about the calculation of the nelson and siegel parameters if you want to calculate by using R. Uh, I hope it would be very helpful in your research and whatever you want. So thank you very much. Keep watching my channel. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. Love.